Hi, this is Greg from N5D, and today's topic is sun gazing. If you were to tell me 20 years ago that you were a sun gazer, I would have thought that you were crazy, but now it really makes a lot of sense. The benefits of sun gazing include improved health, increased energy levels, increased pineal gland activation, clearer thinking, an increase in awareness, and results from what is called wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment is practiced when you're sun gazing. All you need to do is to focus on your inner desires and needs and envision having these things come into your life. One of the most famous sun gazers goes by his initials, HRM, which stands for, and I hope I'm getting this right, Hira Ratan Manik. And he's been literally existing on sunlight since June 18th of 1995. One of the most amazing things about HRM is that the doctors have documented his pineal gland actually growing in size. The average size of a pineal gland for a person over 50 is 6 by 6 millimeters. HRM's pineal gland is 8 by 11 millimeters. As you already know, the pineal gland is your third eye. Debunkers will try to tell you that Galileo went blind due to sun gazing, but this isn't true. According to the book Galileo's Daughter, Galileo went blind at the age of 72, nearly 25 years after his sun research. His blindness was attributed to a combination of glaucoma and cataracts, and not from sun gazing. Personally, I love sun gazing. I find it very relaxing, and the most notable benefit I've found is that there's a decrease in hunger. I like doing different things when I sun gaze. Sometimes I'll envision that my pineal gland is opening and growing in size, and sometimes I might repeat mantras such as, my DNA is opening up to its fullest potential. There are some great tips in the article that's mentioned in the more info section of this video. One of them is to not stare at the same spot. What you want to do is to look at the top of the sun and look to the left, the right, the bottom of the sun. By doing so, you're allowing the sun rays to enter your pineal gland from as many angles as possible. If you think sun gazing is bad for you, then think about the number of times you've watched the sunset. Did that hurt your eyes? When the sun is setting, that's the perfect time to sun gaze. Like Jordan Maxwell says, do your homework. Research this as much as possible. This video isn't necessarily recommending sun gazing, but I hope it encourages people to look a little further into it. If this is something you might like to try, be sure you've done as much research as possible and only sun gaze in the first or last hour of sunlight. Has anyone else tried sun gazing? If so, comment below and tell us about your experiences. That's it for now. This is Greg from N5D.